uh, you played Jesus. Now you played Luke. What's the next biblical character we can look forward to? <laughs> Judas. No, I. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. I was. I just look for the material that is that you know moves me and. Um, you know the passion of the Christ. Reading it was a no-brainer uh, because the script is so good. And Mel Gibson's not that bad of a director. I mean, he yeah. did direct Braveheart. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I don't know what actor would have turned that down. And then um, I, you know, I certainly wasn't. And then, uh, then I read this one, and you know, I've read a lot of uh, biblical stuff, and most of it's uh, not that good. Just like most scripts aren't. I'm looking for redemptive quality stories that 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 have the a truth in it that mm -hmm. is, um, you know, life changing. It's like uh, it's a wonderful life. Yeah. I can watch that movie over and over again, and I'm fascinated why I can watch Ben Hur over and over again. Yeah. What what that does, and um, and same thing going. You know, when you read the scripture, that you read it and you go, God, I didn't hear it like that before. And it does. It, it hits you at a different time in your life. You read it, and uh, it, it's powerful uh, in ways that, you know, we were just talking about your children. When you go back to something later on, once you have children, it's, it's a whole different perspective. Oh, yeah. That's what I was going to ask you, you know, looking at the script, doing it, and kind of kind of being in it, does it help you read the scripture and it comes more alive to you? Yes. You, I wouldn't hesitate giving my life for my children at all. My mm -hmm. life is worthless without my wife and my children. Mm -hmm. I, I think about them all the time. Um, my uh, love, living without love, it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, living without Jesus, it's not going to happen. You know, it, and when I read stories about Coptic Christians or Chaldeans or Assyrians, they gladly lay their lives down for Jesus Christ. I want to tell that story. And that's why I'm telling this one. Yeah. And I read that your wife uh, also had an influence of why you picked this script up. She read it too, or can you kind of talk about that? Or it's just really simple. I remember where I was. She she walked in the living room. The script is open. She goes, "You got to do this," and she threw it in my lap. <laughs> I smiled. It's just uh, that's how it how it yeah. kind of happens. And then I committed to it. And then uh, and then it then the work begins, yeah. and it's scary. Yeah. But um, anything. Uh, like that is an adventure, uh, you know. And I, I, that was one of the things about movies that when I was a boy, I never, I didn't even have a clue that I was going to be doing what I was doing, or maybe I did. Um, they were, uh, it, I, wa looking up and watching, um, I don't know, Lethal Weapon or Mel Gibson or uh, Kevin Costner. It Dances with Wolves or Braveheart, and I saw adventure. I wanted that. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and I was able to dream as a kid and put myself in the hero. And I always liked playing the hero up there on the screen. Yeah. And I played the greatest one there ever was. Yeah, for sure. And Luke and Paul have such a great relationship. Can you talk more about their relationship and how? Well, the relationship that, that Luke and Paul have, um, uh, it had to be something that I understand it now, right? So the Word of God is, when I read it, it has to affect me here in this mm -hmm. place now, and it does. So we couldn't lose that, and I just saw it as a mentor uh, relationship. I happened to lose my, uh, one of my best friends, Frank Stewart, who was my lawyer and mentor for a long time, and uh, he had just died at when um, David Zelon had approached me about this. When I read it, I saw Frank Stewart in mind as wow. Paul for me. The other part of the story was, is God powerful enough to hit people that don't know who God is? Mm -hmm. Well, I think so, because mm -hmm. Luke is one of those guys. And can it be powerful enough to also hit Christians who think they know who God is and are completely mm -hmm. uh, judgmental and all, completely have no love in their hearts? And that would be Saul going to Paul. So that is a very, very uh, lesson-oriented film that you know, and, and it has a bit of the Good Samaritan story where you have this non-believer going over and helping this guy out. What happened to the, the uh, 
the Jew and the the other of uh, the, the 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 priest they mm. did nothing, mm. and our Lord's trying to teach us a lesson there. So um, those are the the parables I read as a kid that uh, stayed with me, and I'm sure they stayed with Shakespeare. Mm. That's why he wrote about them. He just changed out characters, yeah. but um, you know I don't get Star Wars. I, I get these biblical movies and they're the hardest ones to do and I enjoy the adventure in doing it. Your people die today. This world doesn't know a thing about love. Where sin abounds, grace abounds more.